Hey guys, welcome back to another lesson. Uh, today we're building. So we're talking about how to build core extensions. Go ahead and grab your guitar, tune up and let's get started. All right guys, we're gonna start with the C major scale. Um, very simple, it's easy to learn theory this way because there's no, no sharps or flats. And so we can get a better concept that way. So if you just grab your guitars, let's play the C major scale. So we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C again. So the next thing we need to do is now to add uh, the scale degrees to those letters. So of course C is the one, the two will be D, E, F, G, and so forth. So we have, you know, C is the one, D is the two, E is the three, the four is F, 5G, the 6 is A, the 7 is B, and now we're back to C. So there's an octave. So O C T A V E. So octo means eight. So there we're starting over. And so now when we begin, begin to add extensions, if we want to go to the nine, we'll be really playing the two because we started over at eight. Eight is C. And so now D, the two, is the nine, and so forth. Um, so we have those quarter stitches by building that way. So let's start with a basic triad. So if we start with C, we start by playing the one, the three and the five. So every other note of the C major scale. So we have the one, which is C, the three is E, and then the five is G. And so we can build our first triad, our C major from those three notes. And so you have a lot of common shapes like, well, let's start at the top of the neck or the bottom of the neck, depending on how you look at it. C, E, G. So you see that a lot in the chord boots. All right. All right, so now let's add a C major seven. And so now we're gonna start with those first three notes of the triad, C, E, G, and now we're gonna skip another note. We're gonna add the seventh degree, which is B. So now we have C, E, G, and then B. So we have these shapes. that original shape up top. We're just gonna do it an octave up. All right, that's C major seven. And so now we're gonna get into dominant chords. So the only difference between a major seven and a dominant seven is we're gonna lower, lower that B. So we're gonna flat the seventh note. So instead of having C, E, G, B, we're gonna have C, E, G, B flat. It sounds like this, C, E, G, B flat. All right, here's some common dominant chords. All right, so now it's getting a little tricky. We're gonna add a little bit more extensions. So after the seven for dominant chords, we're gonna add the ninth chord. So we said that after eight, we start over. So the eighth note of the scale is C. So after C, we start with D. That's the second note. The second is the ninth. So we're gonna keep building from where we left off with those dominant chords. So we had C, E, G, B flat. Now we have D. Sounds like James Brown. I feel good. All right, so let's build that chord. So here are some common uh, nine chords. Mm -hmm. 
And you can put that five on top if you want to. Here's another one. So here we're leaving off that root note. You might play it, some play it this way. Or some do it this way, put that thumb there. And then we have Great, so now let's move on to C11. And so now we have the one, the three, the five, the flat seven, the nine, and now we have the 11. And so the 11 will be the same as your four. So that would be F. Um, and so that's a lot of notes to play on guitar. So we have C, B, G, B flat, D, and now we have F. All right, so that's a lot of notes to play on guitar. So we have C, E, G, B flat, D, now we're at F. So if we look at the, you know, the top portion of that chord, we have B flat, D, F. And so that's a B flat chord. And so a lot of times you'll hear this chord, this C11 as, uh, you might hear a four over five, because it's used a lot over the five chord. Um, or you might hear, in the instance of C, we're playing a B flat over a C. And so you'll typically um, hear that in kind of like Earth, Wind & Fire. Uh, Tom Mish does it a lot. Uh, a lot of R&B grooves use that chord. And so you will typically get the C11 sound just using those uh, smaller tones or, uh, you know, abbreviations of the chord. All right. All right, so since we're playing a B flat and we're putting the C in the bass, let's do that a couple of different ways. So that's the way we started. We can make a B flat here. And we can change the C into the bass right there. And so you can even add that five on top. All right, we could make a B flat chord here. And so we're just gonna put that C in the bass. So we have. All right, and now finally we have the C13. All right, there we're gonna keep going up. We're gonna do the one, the three, the five, the flat seven, the nine, the 11, then we get to the 13. And the 13 would be the same thing as the sixth degree, which is A in this case. All right, so, so oftentimes you might start with building the dominant seven chord and then put the A at the 13. here so that's the regular C triad so we're gonna add the 13 there we're gonna add that A on top there's another and back to the original and you can put that that nine on top if you want All right, guys, I hope this lesson was helpful. Stick around for the next video and we'll do stitches using uh, minor chords. I'll see you next time. Thanks.